Once the opportunity arose for him to close the show, he did it in emphatic style. Whatever he hits, falls. Oscar Bevis for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm with Tundai Jai, the master genius, and Spencer Fear on the knowledge, the knowledge and the genius. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, you know I mean, we've got to talk about the old days. Remember Yellow Baby? Come here, bro. Give me this, bro. Remember, come on and talk to you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he don't know. <laughs> he don't know what he's talking about. I have no TV. Spencer Fearon. Oh, like Peter made, oh, bro, bro. Hey, bro, I like the look of that. Look. These men have got family, you know. They've got children. They're going to come for you. I'm come for you. <laughs> they end their child. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Dream it, believe it, become it. Let's go. <laughs> right, I believe there's only one place to start. Yes. Um, Anthony Yard, Spencer, I spoke to you after Anthony Yard's defeat to Kovalev at Miguel's gym. You were quite vocal in backing Anthony and Tunde. Tunde, you've come across very well after the fight, but you've also come in for quite a lot of stick. Yes. Talk to me about that, both of you. Um, yeah, sort of the what, public stick? perception and how stick. it's all come across post-fight. Stick, yeah. stick. Stick. Is it stick what you beat or is it when you throw money at someone that sticks on you? What are you talking about, that stick? <coughs> Listen, it, like I said, it's the way of the world right and this is what i'm trying to say so many people live their fears and desperations and then they begrudge someone for living their dreams and aspirations so when i see anyone trying to live their dreams and aspirations i'm backing them even more so when i know guys from the younger days i'm going to back you 100 percent. the back is not wishy-washy i'm not a fair weather friend period so therefore i'm going to back those guys so i was very very proud of a of a of a guy that i know from way back in the day who took a guy out to russia at a, 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 a glorious venue where it was all eyes and, and they were center of attention in a country that's not their own country and how many british fighters would go to go to russia in the first place how many right at that to say they're fighting the home guy in russia they wouldn't go you know what i mean they went there and they went after they went after their thing they stepped forward so they're not in the same place so that is it. So I've got to commend them for what they went out to go and do. So anyone trying to say, oh, let's criticize Tundi Ajayi. Oh, we've got to get rid of that train and that. Oh, blah, blah. we see this all the time. These little fish and chip man there, they keep on doing it. But you know what? They have to do it because you're fish and chips. And this is Cordon Bleu. Okay. I love that. Simple. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> um, you know what? It's funny because I'll yeah, just listen. Something's going on now. <laughs> see them? Oh, something's wow. going on around the back. Yeah. Boy, we'll see. Boy, this is South London. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so Oscar, to answer your question, you know what, I was just listening to Spence there and uh, he said something which I think I've said, I don't know if I've said it, but I, I, I may have said something closer. He said, I took a, uh, a young man from the, from the streets of London yeah. to the top of, but you know what, I, I, I have said it and I'm going to rephrase that. We took each other and let that be the heading. Anthony took me to that level as well because you know what I'm a very reflective person and I've told everyone I've I, you know I created a system and I, I've always known I would I would be here but it takes an individual who believes in one to make your dream come true. I always say to Anthony Anthony people make people 100%. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say it again people make people Anthony Yard took me to the top of the mountain and I'm eternally grateful and thankful for that and um, we're gonna do what we, we, what we did and that's create big news in the sport of boxing from this point forward and uh, the criticism which is the other part of your question <laughs> it's life polarity up down left right yin yang Good you, bad. You said that you done things differently. You yes. were quite a, you were quite open to saying that you done things differently. Always. Um, what did you do that was that different? Because when you were sort of questioned he never sparred. on it, he sparred with me. Tunde J. I'm his best sparring partner. Is that true? He never sparred. <laughs> he sparred with me. Well, that's what everyone said. So I just. You know, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. What was actually said? I'm just going People on. were criticising you for it, but then it sort of was said that oh he is doing things the same. They're just making out as if things are being done. No, but who said it? I don't, you never heard Tunde J say it. You've never heard me say it. You heard me say, answering a question to Danny Flexen, Tunde Ajayi is his best sparring partner. And Anthony laughed and said, 
I'm Bilal Ali. See? So people believe what they want to believe. And um, the suggestion you make to yourself is more powerful than the, the suggestion, suggestion of, of others. others. So if that's what you want to believe, and if that's what really did happen, then maybe everybody needs to stop sparring. Because <laughs> I've been in this game for many years. And everybody around me has never been to the level me and Anthony are just got to. So maybe the people who criticize need to take a leaf out of our book. And that's all I can say. I don't really, I don't emotionalize myself with negativity. Anyone who knows me, they know that. And uh, people are gonna say what they wanna say. But guess what? Two men from the streets of London Three. Let me add Spencer in there. Are at the top of the school. And whether you want to say good things or bad things about us, you're talking about us. And I've, I, I want you to understand what kind of victory that is when we are in and we grew up in an environment where people don't see past the age of 20. <laughs> hmm. Magnificent. Anthony Yard, if he don't pat himself on the back, I'm going to keep patting himself. I'm going to keep patting him on the back because this is just a great thing that's happening to us in our lives. And I know Spencer's mother and uh, she's proud of all of us. 100. She's proud of all of us. We come from the... We come, and you know what? My dad says, stop telling people where you come from because everybody's got a story. But I think it's, it's relevant because so much madness is going out there. And it's easy to criticise people when things... Mm. Th things go the way they was hoping it goes but not looking at the journey and the fact that we are now inspiring people over the planet people in Denmark China shouting lions in the camp Peckham Brixton South London Essex lions in the camp how can you not be motivated and how can you look on that as a negative no way sir in terms of the boxing itself um, again this is just sort of, uh, should we say, when people are acting as pundits, perhaps should we say that they're saying that Sergei Kovalev was, Sergei Kovalev, sorry, was the weak link at light heavyweight at world level. Who said that? That's what I'm saying, this is people talking as pundits, this is, uh, <laughs> general. Rubbish. Weak link, he never looked like no weak link to me. He didn't look like a weak link when he schooled Alvarez in a rematch. He didn't look like a weak link when he beat up Bernard Hopkins. He didn't look like a weak link in the first fight of the Andre Ward fight. Give a man credit where credit's due. Sergei Kovalev has dedicated himself to the sport. He said it in a press conference. He said, no more messing about. Five fights left. That's what he said post-fight to Anthony Yard. And he said, the only thing that beat him, the only thing that made him win on that night was experience. That's not a washed up man. That's not a weak link. And let's get it right. The reason why I asked you who's saying it, because <laughs> those people ain't never fought Sergei Kovalev. Let me get that right. Sergei, Oscar, say it right. Because <laughs> the Russian man there will be after you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so there's no weak link. He's a great fighter and um, he deserves everything he gets. And respect. I'm a man that give respect where respect is due. And uh, they were respectful to us. And uh, we were respectful to them. For Sergey, cover his next uh, fight. That's right. Um, he said he's got five fights left. The next one will be Canelo Alvarez. Now, obviously, there was a lot of talk at the time that Anthony was offered sort of uh, money step to aside. step aside money. What was the pressure like, first off, on the no step pressure. aside money? Was there no pressure? There was no well? pressure. There, well, there was no pressure. I'm just letting you know. Answer. There was no pressure. I mean, I know, obviously, I know. It there was, was no you, pressure. You were Oscar. never going to accept it, but was there not pressure from perhaps, uh, I don't know. Canelo's team, Golden Boy, for example, was there a lot of pressure that they put on listen, him to man, step listen. aside? Well, who's who's Anthony Yal signed to? And who's his manager? <laughs> so how can there be pressure from that side? There was no pressure, brother. No, it's not even that. I don't even, I, I'm not even going to answer it like that. You can't say you want to be great and sit at home with a packet of hobnobs and Coca-Cola. Coke, I want to... Me and you have to talk business because I'm giving you a plug here. Coke, Coke. <laughs> saying you want to be great you either going to take the leap and dare to be great or be bought by money <laughs> listen man we want money sorry listen sir 
Oscar. Sir Oscar, you like that one, didn't you? Oh, yeah. I'm picking you up. Sir Oscar. Money's good. Money gives you opportunities. But money comes and goes. And uh, sometimes you only get one chance to be great. We're going to have more than one chance. But that was a great opportunity for us to write our names in the history books. And we did, because that's going down as a great fight. Everybody in the UK, I told everyone it should have been a pay-per-view fight. Let's look at some of the pay-per-view fights that have been on recently. <laughs> would you mind of, would you mind, would you have mind paying for Sergey Kovalev against Anthony Young? In the pay-per-view market at the moment, I don't think the don't card, give me no, the card don't give me no interview was, I don't talk. think the card was yes pay-per-view no? worthy. I don't think it was the card. No, was, pay -per -view was the fight pay-per-view worthy? Pay -per -view worthy. <laughs> maybe not on paper beforehand, and I think rubbish. that's fair to say. Uh, maybe not on paper beforehand. In, in where we come, we say rubbish, <laughs> rubbish. That was an exciting fight. Oh, it was definitely an exciting fight. It yeah, was an exciting it was, yeah. fight. So I don't want to be disrespectful, but there has been many pay-per-view fights that didn't even come close to that fight. Of course, uh, yeah. So as you say. Not Tunde Jai, Oscar from IFL TV. Sir Oscar. Sir Oscar. Get it right. In the current <laughs> pay-per-view market, that fight definitely was pay-per-view. Right, Canelo. We all get round to talking about yeah, Canelo. You, see, you get tongue tied. Sergey Kovalev. Me and the, me and the, no, the <laughs> you know knowledge what? and the genius. <laughs> genius. There's not many. That's, that's there's the, not, that's there's the not many men. <laughs> that's the day when it's the, the, the heading. The knowledge. And the genius. There's not many men who can outspeak the knowledge. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm, just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just tired right now. <laughs> I'm being real. But yeah. on the reals, when we're looking at um, Canelo <coughs> and, and Kovalev, that's going to be a very, very good fight. And it's not a foregone conclusion either. Yes. It's going to be a very, very good fight. But seriously, in my mind, there's days where I wake up and say Canelo is the best pound for pound fight in the world. Days where I wake up and say Terence Crawford is the best pound for pound fight in the world. Days where I wake up and I say Lomachenko is the best pound for pound fight in the world. And it's a mix. Right? But he's definitely an elite fighter. But he's been an elite fighter middleweight. He's been an elite fighter at, at junior middleweight. He ain't been an elite, but he ain't been a, a light heavyweight. At super middleweight, I can't even say that he's been an elite fighter. There's no disrespect because they had one showing at that and that was against Rocky Fielding, yeah? And that was for a regular title and, and, and not the super championship. So that's not me disrespecting Rocky Fielding because a great achievement what he's done. But it's another thing where you're going in with this guy, Canelo. Okay, when you're going in with Kovalev, Kovalev is he, he serious, he proved to us that he's serious. I was doing my best to just disregard him and, and disrespect him because I'm saying, well, my boys are fighting him, so fun him. That's how I'm rolling, that's how I, that's how I roll. If I got you, I got you, Oscar. You know what I mean? That's how you're in there, no one can't trouble you. You're safe, you're safe, don't worry. You're in the deep part of South London here, you know what I mean? Right? Trust me, I know you're scared to jump on the train right now, but don't worry, you're cool. So therefore, I'm, I'm going to be, I'm, I'm excited at watching that fight because I want to see how he handles it, but there is no better body puncher in the world right now in my mind, than, than, than Canelo. Canelo is just an incredible body puncher. And I believe that sometimes Sergei Kovalev has been susceptible Conor, to body punches. Conor, he usually stopped to body punches. He ain't stopped there, but he's going down. World class, world class. Right, 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 no, 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 but I'm, 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 no, I'm, he hasn't. I'm just not, asking a question. No, he hasn't, he hasn't, he hasn't. But, but in the spurts when he's throwing his combination, he goes to the body wicked. And not only that, as he goes to the body wicked, Mike McCullum never really stopped no one at world class. The great D White. Yeah, D White. Hurt, 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 hurt. Yeah, hurt. See, when, you, when you come South London, these are the men that you roll with. See, nobody can. See, I'm the smallest man. This is a knock crew. you don't want at your no, door. This is the wrong one in the morning. My guy's the me. Come on. You know what I'm saying? So, the family connect, you know what I'm saying? It's all happening. Heritage, you, know? you get me? The movement is growing. You can't do nothing about it. I keep telling people, it's going to happen. So what you're seeing here is a sign of the times. Young men, well, I'm not so young no more. <laughs> <laughs> me, myself, I don't get confused. I'm not but, that young. But, 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 I've got the greys up, so boy, you know, even me, look. We, <laughs> we, 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 come, we, we can die that. Like, we, yeah. well, wait, man, wait. We who come from a certain environment are now showing the young ones you don't need to go the life of crime and come on. drugs and... Come on. And madness, Come on. killing one another. You work hard, you be positive, you set positive examples, mm -hmm. and this is it. This is what you're seeing. You're seeing a, uh, um, we now have become the OGs. I don't mm. even like to use that word, but the standard bearers as the well. The standard bearers, well, I and mean, it's good. But yeah, I mean, I, and I, I love it. 
And that's why, I mean, it's not about competition. I put this on my social media. It's about collaboration. <laughs> Helping one another, growing with one another. Come on. And showing the young ones that, listen, man, it's revolution time, but in a positive way. Yes, sir. That's the positive. You unite, and we will prevail. Unite and don't fight. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, unite, unite. Listen, us coming together, we will do bigger in numbers yes. than trying to simply do it single-handedly. Single, single yes. Do you understand? So, listen, you man have been here, I've come. So there's three of us now who's barriers, front runners doing what we're doing. Yes. All the next, the next month to come along, we continue yes. to grow yes. and, 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 and just kind of work and show a positive light on the younger guys who yes. are coming through. Yes. To see that you can come from negative yes. and come into positive and have a, a, a voice. Yes. And become something else and you know, saying hustler, go to you know, like there's nothing for you to do, go to jail and end up. There's a there, there's choices, you understand? You can come from negative and come into positive and say, right, you can come into maybe it might not even be boxing, they might even go into golf, yes. tennis, and be people who's pundits in that law, do you understand? Medical practice, anything, doctors, but what it is, is solicitors, we've got to start somewhere and open the door or kick the door in if you want, kick it in. I say, yo, we're there. <laughs> and the sun's straight. And that's what it is. And it's simple. So for me, I continue grafting, learning, listening. Yes. And I run off my mortality wise, yes. like some people do. And um, yes. check in, you got to digest. And run off your moat <laughs> means talking a lot. <laughs> so, yeah. so you got to digest. Because you know, you know, you know, these like, he's, a, he's like a, the patois comes no, out. No, no, I do both. But what it is, is <laughs> but he's, 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 he's versatile. No, we got to tell them, we got to tell them. Because sometimes yeah, yeah, yeah. But you no, know what happens. You yeah. get these people 100%. who just running their mouth. They don't understand yes. certain things and they will talk yes. before they digest information or go and do their due diligence yes. and educate themselves. Yes. Car education is key. Knowledge yeah. is power. Yes. You understand? And as so, a late, great Dean Powell used to say, there's a reason why you got two ears and one mouth <laughs> for a reason. You know what exactly. I mean? Because this is meant to be doing more than this. But it doesn't for you though. No, no. no. <laughs> never ever. Never ever. It doesn't. No, I've it, surpassed it, those it, levels though. <laughs> Let's be real. I've surpassed those levels. Judging uh, on this interview, that's quite rich coming from you, isn't it? Listen, <laughs> yeah, exactly. me, but everyone knows yeah. I'm a talker. Yeah, I, yeah, I, right, listen, right. He, he gave you that mathematical <laughs> equation. My one is the other way around. Two mouths and one pair of ears. <laughs> <laughs> See? Don't drink when you come to boxing. <laughs> anyway. Drink as much as you can when you come to boxing. Don't drink. Get levered, get tanked, enjoy no, yourself, no, no, enjoy no, life, no. There, and uh, there goes, be happy. There goes my speech down the drain. I've just spoken about positive and they took come out a drink. And that is positive. No, man, it's not. Hey, get, in, get behind the bar, Ray and nephew, Brandy and Colt, <laughs> on you guys. Thanks very much. There was three, but now there's only one. The one, it's always one left. It's Tunde Ajayi, the Mr. Man, the positive man. Dream it, believe it, become it. IFL TV, so Oscar. Stay tuned. <laughs>